Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, At Home with Willowberry. Or if you're new, welcome. But where have you been? I'm so happy to see you here. My name is Valerie, and in today's video, I spent the day cooking, cleaning, and crafting. I'm going to bring y'all some good old-fashioned homemaking motivation here in my 1975 mobile home fixer-upper. I need to deep clean my kitchen, I stain some beautiful wood nutcrackers, and for dinner I make one of the kids' favorite dishes, Parmesan crusted chicken breast. It was another beautiful day here in the Virginia mountains, so if you're interested, I hope you'll stick around and enjoy the video. How are y'all doing today? I hope you're all having a wonderful day. It's a beautiful day here in our little corner of the Virginia mountains, but it's supposed to rain all day tomorrow, so it looks like Tim and the boys are going to be spending the day chopping firewood before it all gets wet. I'm still trying to get the house ready for Christmas, but my foot keeps slowing me down. I have arthritis in my right foot, and on top of that, I injured it a couple of months ago, so I've been wearing a walking boot. I can take the boot off, but it actually helps my arthritis feel better, so I just keep wearing it. I go to the doctor next week for the arthritis, and hopefully they can help me find a way to make it feel better without the boot. But right now, the boot is my best friend. Y'all, my kitchen is trashed today. I finished washing the dishes, but I still need to sweep, mop, wipe down the counters, and take out the trash. I'm reluctantly going to clean the kitchen, but I would much rather be decorating for Christmas. The sooner I finish cleaning the kitchen, the sooner I can get to crafting. I bought some wooden nutcrackers that I want to stain with instant coffee. I was scrolling through Instagram a few weeks ago and came across Sugar Maple Farmhouse page. She was staining a nutcracker with coffee, and I loved the idea, so I immediately ordered some wood nutcrackers online, and they finally arrived, so this afternoon I'm going to stain them. But right now, I'm going to finish cleaning the kitchen.
Sweeping up in the kitchen will be much easier today with the help of this broom and dust pan that was sent to me by a sweet follower. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. And that was very thoughtful of you. She said her daughter gave her the same set and she loved it so much that she sent me one. I can't wait to use it. This way I don't have to keep bending over to sweep up the dirt. And Lord knows we have a ton of dirt. It doesn't matter how much I sweep, there is always so much dirt. With two dogs, three kids, and a house under construction, well, I could sweep three times a day, and there would always be too much dirt. What a mess, y'all. Well, now it's time to mop. I love my new spin mop. It has really made mopping so much easier for me. Thank you again to the sweet follower who sent it to me. I have really enjoyed using it. All right, well, I'm going to get this floor mopped and take out the trash. And then I'm done cleaning for now. I'll have to clean up again after dinner later tonight. But at least I'll have a clean kitchen to cook in. Tonight, I'm making Parmesan crusted chicken breast homemade scallop potatoes, and collard greens that I made and put in the freezer back over Thanksgiving. But first, I'm going to finish cleaning up the kitchen, and then how about a little visit with Max?
Hey there, Maxie boy. What are you up to? Are you a sweet boy? He is such a love bug. He loves to snuggle, and the closer he can get, the better. Watch him stretch when he climbs down off the chair. It's the funniest thing ever. The way he stretches out that back leg, it gets me every time. He's so darn cute. I can't imagine life without this little guy. He really is a good boy. And there's my sweet Willowberry. Look at that little tongue sticking out. Too cute. She just turned eight years old and she's a mess, y'all. She's tiny and cute and sweet when she wants to be. She is definitely a little firecracker. She's the alpha dog in this house and Max knows his place, that's for sure. And we could never forget about Milo. He is the best cat and sweet as can be. All right, y'all. Who's ready to stay in some nutcrackers? A few weeks ago, I was scrolling through Instagram and I came across Sugar Maple Farmhouse's page and she was staining wooden nutcrackers with coffee. They were so beautiful and I fell in love with the idea. I have never been a big fan of painted nutcrackers, but I really like the look of the stained ones. I knew it was something I could do easily without a lot of mess, so I immediately started googling where to find unpainted wooden nutcrackers. I found some at michaels.com. They are actually a bit bigger than I was expecting, but I'm sure I can find some place to display them. I'm going to be using Folgers Instant Coffee with equal parts water to stain these nutcrackers. In today's video, I only managed to get one coat of stain on the nutcrackers before running out of time. I eventually went back and put a total of three coats of coffee stain on the nutcrackers. It really just depends on how dark you want the wood. Alright y'all, let's go ahead and stain these nutcrackers.
doesn't look too bad after just one coat of stain, but it's going to look much better after two or three more coats. But I'm out of time for today. It's dinner time, so I need to clean up my mess and start making dinner. day y'all i've cleaned the kitchen i stained some nutcrackers i did a little decorating and i spent time with my fur babies but now my boys are home from school and they are ready for dinner so let's get it started i'm making scalloped potatoes from scratch i've never made them before but the recipe that i found looks easy enough the potatoes will take the longest to cook so i'll start with that first i'll leave the recipe linked down in the description box
Tonight's dinner is what I call a messy meal because it messes up so many dishes, but it's a really tasty meal, so I don't mind making the mess once in a while. I usually try to make meals that are easy to clean up, you know, just a couple of pots and pans and maybe a few dishes, but unfortunately tonight it gets pretty messy, and I say unfortunately because I don't have a dishwasher yet. I do get help with the dishes, but I feel guilty when I make such big messes in the kitchen for them to clean up. Alrighty, well, this recipe calls for a homemade cream sauce, so that's what I'm making now. The cream sauce will be layered with the potatoes and then baked in the oven until it's golden brown. The cream sauce is coming along nicely. I've just added the chicken broth and milk to the roux, so all that's left is to season it. I'm seasoning the cream sauce with salt, pepper, rosemary, thyme, and parsley. After I add all the seasonings, I'll then continue to stir the sauce until it has thickened. Once it's thickened, I'll then be ready to start layering the cream sauce with the potatoes. The scalloped potatoes will bake in a 350 degree oven for approximately one hour.
The scalloped potatoes are in the oven, so now I'm ready to start preparing the Parmesan crusted chicken breast. This is where it starts to get really messy. First thing I need to do is slice the breast into cutlets and then chop up some fresh rosemary. After that, I need to set up my dipping station, which consists of three bowls, one for flour, one for eggs, and one for the Parmesan and seasoned breadcrumbs. I'll season the breadcrumbs with the fresh rosemary, garlic powder, fresh parsley, salt, and pepper. Okay, y'all, I've got my dipping station assembly line all set up and ready to go. So now I'm ready to start frying up the Parmesan crusted chicken breast. After dipping each breast in flour and then eggs and finally in the Parmesan seasoned breadcrumbs, I'll saute the breast in a small amount of olive oil over a medium high heat until they are cooked to an internal temperature of at least 165 degrees and golden brown on both sides.
The chicken sure does look and smell delicious, if I do say so myself. The delicious smells coming from the kitchen keep bringing the boys in here, and they're asking, when's dinner going to be ready? Soon, boys, real soon. I'm working on it. Dinner is ready, y'all. I really wish y'all could smell the deliciousness coming from my kitchen right about now. All the herbs that I use to season the chicken and the scallop potatoes smell wonderful, and I can't wait to dig in. I'd love to know what y'all are having for dinner tonight. Let me know down in the comments. I'm always looking for new dinner ideas.
Oh my goodness, y'all. That was probably the best Parmesan crusted chicken breast that I've ever made. And the scalloped potatoes were so good. They were tender and creamy and full of flavor. Oh, and the collards. They were even better today than they were on Thanksgiving. I'll have to make another large batch of collards and stock up the freezer with them. Well, I think I'm going to sit here for a few minutes and love on my pups. They really are a couple of little snuggle bugs. My son helped me put up the Christmas tree earlier tonight, and he wants to help me decorate it, so I think that's what we're going to do later this evening. But first, I need to floof the tree branches. We found this tree at Lowe's on clearance for just $55. It's a 7-foot pre-lit tree, and it has white lights as well as color lights with multiple settings. Well, y'all, I think this is a good place to go ahead and end the video. I really hope y'all enjoyed it. I know I did. Thank y'all so much for watching, and I hope to see you in my next one. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye, y'all.